Matt. Thank you very much. This week, the Louisville Slugger turns 140, and the Slugger Museum is throwing a party to celebrate. Our Sam Carter is live at the Slugger Museum in downtown Louisville. He's going to share how we can get involved. Absolutely, Alex. From Pete Browning to Ronald Acuna Jr., the Louisville Slugger has been a part of big league history for a long time. And big league opening day is Thursday, but here in Louisville, there's something bigger going on. It is the 140th birthday party for this iconic brand. And here to tell us all about what you can expect this coming Thursday is Andrew Saladay. Um, Andrew, you're holding something in your hand. I'm holding something in mine that um, people can get when they show up. Talk to me about what we got before we get into the deets. Yeah, that's right, Sam. So we are celebrating 140 years. So we got this awesome pennant. It's got kind of like a it saved by the bell kind of vibe going <laughs> it's on. True, yeah. And we've got that on the mini bat too. So this Thursday, as you mentioned, it's an opening day bash. So we're going to be handing these out first 500 and these mini bats as well. I love that. And there's a ton else going on too, mm -hmm. because we got a brand new exhibit we're going to talk about in the next half hour, but there's a ton more going on uh, this coming Thursday Absolutely. when you guys celebrate 140 years of Louisville Slugger. Yeah, there is a lot going on. So we're doing everything from we're cooking hot dogs. Love that, baseball. Uh, we're, we got Buddy Bat coming out. We got inflatables for the kids to play on. So a whole bunch of stuff. We have the Hillerick family who's going to actually be signing these oh, mini sweet. bats. We're doing a bourbon release. We're going to have a balloon guy here. <laughs> I mean, I, this is what, what better way can you think of to kick off? Opening we're celebrating day. spring, we're celebrating 140 years of an iconic brand, and we're celebrating opening day. That's right. Louisville Slugger Museum wouldn't have baseball really without Louisville That's Slugger. Um, the exhibit behind us, we're going to get into detail about it in the next half hour, but just give us a primer. What, what's the main kind of overall? Yeah, so the Brilliance thing? of Bats, which is looming right behind us, is an incredible exhibit where we, where we celebrate those 140 years and the players who are attached to those bats and just really trying to drive home the idea that everyone has a connection to Louisville Slugger. Uh, whether you played or not. That's amazing, mm -hmm. guys. Later this afternoon, there will be links to tickets on our website, WLKY.com. In about the next two minutes, there'll be a link on my Twitter, at Sam from WLKY, if you want to jump the gun on a little bit. But yeah, first 500 people through the door will get these coming up. Really cool little collectibles there. A whole lot more coming up from the Louisville Slugger Museum all morning. Again, new exhibit, new bourbon. Same great bats. We will be back in just a little bit with all that. I like that. Look at that flag, <laughs> that pennant, Matt. That's pretty cool. You can never have enough mini bats, right? I, we got a handful so in our many. house, that's for sure. <laughs> uh, and uh, looking forward to the start of baseball season. I know it already officially uh, began last week with the series out in Korea, but we're going to be looking at uh, most of uh, our teams, if you're a baseball fan, getting started in just a couple of days.